Some Michigan lawmakers pushing for everyone who lives here in Michigan, including undocumented immigrants, to be able to get a driver's license. CBS News Detroit's Lauren Winfrey explains what it might mean for the state if the drive safe bills become law. They just reintroduced the bills once again after more than 15 years of struggle trying to get driver's license for everybody regardless of immigration status. A package of bills reintroduced to the Michigan legislature could change who can legally get behind the wheel and on the road. Hundreds of thousands of people in Michigan have struggled to get a driver's license and uh, their livelihood is at stake. Adonis Flores is the Immigrant Rights Director at Michigan United, a Detroit-based group dedicated to racial and economic justice. He wants driver's licenses for all to be made law in the state of Michigan, just as it was before 2008. People are not realizing this is also not just about driving. It's about being able to be identified. According to the National Conference of State Legislatures, 19 states and Washington, D.C. allow residents, including undocumented immigrants, access to a driver's license. If the drive safe bills were to become law, the Michigan League for Public Policy estimates over 55,000 people in the state would apply for a license, but they'd have to meet requirements like proving residency. Here we go, just like with sanctuary cities, the state of Michigan is rewriting the rules, the federal law prevails under immigration policy. Senator, there are lawmakers who say this is common sense legislation. How would you respond to that? That's what they call common sense. Breaking the law, breaking the immigration policy, flooding the nation with fentanyl so that they can get an amnesty and then meet these voters. Senator Jim Runstead represents the state's 23rd Senate District. He's opposed to the bills, expressing concerns about border control. Still, he thinks there's a chance these bills could become law. Reporting in Southwest Detroit, Lauren Winfrey, CBS News, Detroit.